Hello dear viewers and learners assalamu alaikum how are you doing well hope you are doing best welcome to spoken english practice today i'm going to discuss another important tense in english grammar this tense is very important we are going to learn today past continuous tense dear viewers and learners to improve our spoken english every tense is very important that's why i am discussing about all tenses in the last few classes i discussed present tense and in the last class i discussed about past simple tense so those are newer in this tutorial i will suggest you to go back to my tutorials and watch them so today we will learn past continuous tense properly from a to z after watching this video there will be no confusion about past continuous tense using past continuous tense you will be able to speak in english fluently and also it will help you to improve your writing skill after watching this video if you think that it is beneficial for you please subscribe the channel and click on the notification button to get my next video so let's jump over the tutorial for today so today we learn past continuous tense what is past continuous tense if something happened in the past continuously then it is called past continuous tense like i was eating he was working she was reading it was writing kurim was feeding i was eating means ami khachhilam he was working means she kaaj korchilo she was reading she porchilo it was writing eti lekhchilo kurim was feeding kurim khawachhilo so what is the form of past continuous tense subject plus was were plus verb ing plus object or other words so for subject i he she it kurim always we will use was then for subject we you they any plural subjects like the students we will use were like we were eating amra khachhilam you were working tumi kaaj korchile they were reading tara porchilo the students were playing chhatrora khela dhola korchilo now we can make negative these sentences just we will use after was were not like i was not eating bread ami roti khachhilam na he was not working in the field she mathe kaaj korchilo na she was not cooking in the kitchen tini ranna kore ranna korchilen na it was not barking to see me eti amake dekhe gheu gheu korchilo na we were not eating rice you were not working in the field they were not improving their english the students were not playing in the field we were not eating rice amra bhat khachhilam na you were not working in the field tumi ba tumra mathe kaaj korchile na they were not improving their english tara tader english e unnayan ghorachhilo na the students were not playing in the field chhatrora or shikkarthira mathe khela dhula korchilo na shikkarthira mathe khela dhula korchilo na
we can make interrogative sentence like was I eating rice? Was he reading a newspaper? Was she cooking delicious food? Was Corey waiting for us? Was it barking loudly? Was I eating rice? Means Amiki Bhat Katsilam. Was he reading a newspaper? Sheki Ekti Potrika Portsilo. Was she cooking delicious food? Tiniki Shushadu Kabar. Rana Kurtzilen. Was Korim waiting for us? Korim ki amader jinno apekha kurtzilo. Was it barking loudly? Eti ki uccho shore ghew ghew kurtzilo. So, we have seen the form was where plus subject plus verb ing plus object or other words. Now we can make it negative and interrogative sentences following this form. Like, wasn't I eating rice? Wasn't he reading a newspaper? Wasn't she cooking delicious food? Wasn't cream waiting for us? Wasn't it barking loudly? Wasn't I eating rice? Amiki bhat khatsilam na? Wasn't he reading a newspaper? Tiniki ekti putrika porcelana. Wasn't she cooking delicious food? Tiniki shushadu kaba rana kurcelana. Wasn't Kurim waiting for us? Kurim ki amadir juno opeka kurcelona. Wasn't it barking loudly? Etiki uchoshore geogel kurcelona. Now we will learn how to make doubles questions by past continuous tense. The form is here, WH question plus was where plus subject plus verb ing plus object or other words. Like what was he eating? With what you can make lot of sentences. What was he writing? What was he reading? What was he doing? Then he kurtzilen. Then he lekzilen. Then he porcelain. What was she cooking? Then he ki ranna kurtzilen. So you can make a lot of sentences using WH question like what. Now let's go for another WH questions with why? Why means cano. Why was he doing this work? Then cano a casti kurtzilen. Now you can change the subject here and you can change the auxiliary verb. Was, where and verb. And you can make lot of sentences using double questions. Why? Like why was he? waiting for us why was she waiting for us why were they waiting for us why was Karim waiting for us so in this way you can make a lot of sentences now let's go for when when means kohan kohan when was he reading this newspaper you can here also change subject and auxiliary verb where. Like when were they reading this newspaper? When were we reading this newspaper? When were you reading this newspaper? Now come to the where means kothai. Where was he learning English? Tini kothai Englishi shikchilen. Where was she learning English? Where were they learning English? Where were we learning English? So in this way, we can make a lot of sentences by following this form. I think if you practice in this way, 
definitely you will be able to develop your spoken English. You will be able to speak very fluently. You will be able to speak very fast. Now let's go for another WH. How? How means kibhabe. How was he learning spoken English? Tini kibhabe spoken English shik chilen. Here also you can change subject and verb. Like how was she learning spoken English? How were you learning spoken English? Tumi kibhabe spoken English shik chilen. How were we learning spoken English? Amra kibhabe spoken English shik chilam. How were they spoken English? Tara kibhabe spoken English shik chilam. So in this way, you can change the subject, you can change the auxiliary verb and make a lot of sentences. And in this way, you speak loudly and you repeat these words these sentences again and again it will remove your stumbling block now let's go for who who is reading loudly ke uchcha shore porchilo who are reading loudly kara uchcha shore porchilo here you can change the verb and you can make a lot of sentences like who was cooking? Who was cooking in the kitchen? You can add the sentence more. You can add more. Who was cooking in the kitchen in the evening? Or you can say who was cooking in the kitchen in the evening with this boy? with this kid ke bikale ranna ghore ei shishutir shonge ranna korchilo so in this way you can extend the sentence and you can improve your spoken english now let's go for the other wh questions home home means kake with whom was he going there? She kashunge shekhane jatchilo. Home, before home, you can use many prepositions and you can make many meaningful sentences. Like you can say for home kar junno, before home kar purbe, after home kar pore. For home kar junno. Like for whom were he waiting? She kajuno opeka kurchelo. After whom was he waiting? She karpore opeka kurchelo. Before whom was he waiting? She karpurbe opeka kurchelo. So in this way, you can make a lot of sentences. Now let's come to the which. Which means kunti. Which homework? Was he doing? She kun barikasti kurchilo. Here also you can change object. Instead of home, you can use many things like which newspaper was he reading? She kun potrikati kurchilo. Which book was he reading? She kun boiti kurchilo. Which dress was he wearing? She kun jamati. So in this way, you can make a lot of sentences using words. Now come to the hose. Hose means car. Hose dress was he wearing on that day? She oidin car jamati porichilo. Hose dress was she wearing on that day? Hose dress was my baby wearing on that day? So in this way, you can change the subject and you can make a lot of sentences and you can speak loudly. 
So that's the end of today's tutorial. Dear viewers and learners, hopefully from today there will be no confusion about past continuous tense and uh, you have learned how to improve spoken English, how to frame sentences on past continuous tense. And if you practice in this way, you make sentences many ways using many verbs, subjects and auxiliary verbs and then you practice. You will see tremendous development in your speaking ability. I'm sure, not only sure, I'm over sure that no one can stop you from speaking English fluently faster. So thank you very much to watch it. So I told you before to get my next video on spoken English practice Please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button to get my next video. So stay safe, stay tuned with English to Learn channel. Thank you very much.